So where we left off last time, I was installing the threaded inserts for the binding mounts. So I installed them, tried to sand them as flush as possible with the foam, and the next step was to add an aesthetic layer of carbon, what I call an aesthetic layer of carbon. So I used 090 twill, because uh, I think it has a nice look to it, and I used 5.8 ounces, the weight of the cloth. Uh, the only tricky thing that's different about that layup is, as I was laying down the cloth, I backed out the set screws right before laying out the cloth, a few millimeters, and I split the cloth around the set screws so that I could find them once everything had cured and hardened up. In addition, I put extra wax into the screw holes just to ensure that I could back them out. So the next morning after everything was cured, I peeled back the peel ply and uh, I took a look at the finished product. Unfortunately, overnight, the peel ply uh, must have shifted and I got ridges uh, in the epoxy, uh, which you can see on the film. So you'll sand that down. I like to use 220 grit because when you're sanding the epoxy, it'll cut through the epoxy really nicely, but as soon as you start hitting carbon, it clogs the paper, which is actually really beneficial, so you know you won't go too deep in the carbon. So I use 220 on the whole board. Uh, try and get it nice and smooth and level. Try and get rid of all the imperfections that you can. It's pretty hard to get perfect. It's really an art form. After that, I made a little bit of a game time decision. The board came out much stiffer than anticipated, so I didn't want to add another layer of carbon to the bottom, which is the tensile side of the board. And it shouldn't need another layer of carbon from a strength perspective. I just was planning on doing it for aesthetics. But instead, what I'm going to do is fair the bottom uh, using a total boat fairing compound. And I'll uh, make it nice and smooth, and then I'm going to end up painting it white. So the board will be white on the bottom, black on the top. So I use Total Boat uh, Fairing Compound. It's a two-part compound. You mix them together. Uh, it's yellow and blue, and so it makes a nice green, which is brilliant because when you're mixing, you know exactly when it's fully mixed, so you get to a nice green. It's a really great consistency to work with, and you end up spreading a very thin layer all the way on the board. And you do spread a thin layer. The key is not to add too much for me. I'd rather fair twice with two thin layers than one thick layer because you can end up losing the global fairness of your carbon underneath. What you're really trying to do is just you know, take care of the lows, add a little bit to the lows, and add very little to the high spots. So you spread it nice and thin, trying to find out where your lows are, and then you go ahead and you sand the whole thing down, trying to get a nice clean finish for when you start painting. So I ended up spraying on three coats of uh, All Craft Clear Coat, and uh, it was my first time spraying, and I'm okay with the results. They're not perfect. And you can see I have a nice thick finish here on the board. Unfortunately, it's not perfect. There's still some little pinholes, still some little errors, but the reality is clear coat carbon is a white whale. Even some of the best clear coating companies in the world, some of the best carbon manufacturers, still bring an outside sprayer to do their final high quality product. So try not to beat yourself up too much. I think you get better over time. So that's pretty much the project racked up, and this is the finished top.